Okay, Jason Blair with Astro Roofing. We're out here on a four-story high-rise condominium that um, we're just completing. And um, I just want to talk a little bit about this three-ply self-adhered Certainty roofing system. Uh, flint elastic made by Certainty. Um, I can tell you, man, we've had great success using this system. I grew up using hot tar, um, single ply, uh, different types of systems. But since um, about the last seven to ten years, I've been, been mainly exclusively using certain tea products, and I've been switching more and more to their self-adhered products. Um, this Flint Lastic self-adhered roof system, I can tell you, is amazing. I mean, not only does it look beautiful, and this roof doesn't where it's raining right now, so, I mean... Um, this roof holds zero water when it's done raining. I can promise you all this water is going to be gone within 24 hours. I've been up here after a rainstorm and all this stuff dissipates very quickly. But um, what I like about this roof is, man, it's, it's very user-friendly, easy to install once you work out the nuances on, and figure out how to actually install the product. This is a, a great product. Um, so my hat's off to Flint Lastic, Certainty, and their, their self-adhered system. Great product. 20-year product warranty. Um, we're giving a 10-year labor warranty on this job. Beautiful job. Um, I can tell you that uh, the other companies wanted to give them tapered insulation, but we, we had already done four other buildings out here, and two with, with hot tire and two with self-adhered. And... Um, you know, now this is our third one with self-adhered, and it's a great product. All the water basically gets off this building once you get the asphalt and gravel and the funky gravel stop that they had installed. Once you get rid of that stuff, the roof um, drains properly. But um, what I want to talk about is how we save this this community money um, on the front end here. Uh, so these air conditioning units, um, they, you know, this could cost a lot of money trying to clean this up. So our solution, basically, not every unit needs work, but um, uh, some of them definitely need some type of work. But instead of pushing it off onto the community and the people who don't need work, we're basically giving it to them one at a time. And our solution for doing that is we're not really messing with the connections. So in order to go through and clean that up and get all this old stuff out of there, we would probably damage these electrical units. And sometimes we have to. We just did a job in Boca Raton down on the beach and we had to clean it up because it was a foam, spray foam roof and there was nothing we could do. We had to clean it up and we did ha damage a lot of the, the, the connections because they were corroded and old and damaged already before we got there. But you can see these are still in good shape. They've never really had any leaks or problems around these areas. So what we've done is we've removed the old penetration pan and we've left the guts for the penetration pan inside there. And we've put a new penetration pan around that, um, filled it with portable sealer. And that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna top that off again, you know, filled in the edges with portable sealer. It's kind of like a primer. And then now we're gonna fill it 100% with portable sealer. And that's gonna seal that off. It's worked, um, it's been very effective for us in the past. Now what that does is it doesn't push off the, the cost for these 200 air conditioning units to be rewired, new condensation lines. I mean, it could be extremely expensive. So. Um, we're leaving these in place. There's no issues with them right now, but as it becomes an issue one by one for each tenant, they'll obviously have to do something, but that will be a cost that will be passed on um, appropriately rather than just kind of like passing it on to the entire community. So if we were to, I mean, look, a, a roofing company could come in here and jack up the price of the cost of this re-roof by, by doing that damage. And that's the difference between, you know, a good contractor and one that's, you know, not so good and 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 look i'm not bad mouthing anybody else because some people may disagree with me and tell me that that has to be replaced i beg to differ okay i've been doing this my entire life and that's been extremely successful for us in the past and it saves the community a ton of money on the front end some of these might not need work for five six seven eight years you know so um why go through and fix a bunch of stuff that may not be broken so um been very effective for us it's a way that we save them a lot of money and also uh, for future maintenance, you know, we got to come through. We're going to put in some stands in here to hold these off the roof, stuff like that. But you can see, I mean, there's there's issues. I mean, here this pipe is broke, you know. This is broke here. Um, you can see we have another break in the pipe down there. Um, there's no, no insulation on any of these lines. And these are all things that we're going to discuss with them before we close out the job. But right now we're trying to get through, finish all of our inspections that we need to finish. And then we can talk about, you know, doing a little bit of extra stuff or, you know, finishing up this other other stuff. Or they can have a AC company come in or electric electrician come in and do some of this stuff too. I mean, because 
this electrical conduit and stuff, we can't really do a lot with it. You know, there's nothing we can really do with it because we're not electrical guys. Even insulating these pipes and stuff, I mean, we can do it, but it's not something we typically do. You know, so if it's something they want us to do, we can talk about it, but we're trying to really just save them money, get through the project, clean it all up, and, um, and move on. You know, so, um, again, haven't had any issues in, with this job. Um, still got some flashing to do around the walls there, you know, some termination, clean up that wall. Um, we're going to be putting on a coping, new coping around the top, painting the inside of those walls. Um, so still a lot of little detail stuff that we want to that we want to do before we finish up. And actually, we're going to silicone the inside of that area right there because it just looks like there's no real way to push that water out. So just the inside of that is going to be silicone. And we're going to do that for each one of these little cubby hole areas just, just because it's what we do. You know, It's not in the contract, but um, some, we're going to come in here and do some stuff just to make this place look really clean and neat and, and fresh. And you guys see how we finish a lot of our jobs. You know, we, I like it to look like a million bucks when we're done. So i so got a lot of work here waiting for my guys to get here and clean this up. But if you got a project like this and you're looking for the best of the best, Astro Roofing, look us up on the Internet. It's Astro with two A's, A-A-S-T-R-O. We're the number one roofing company in the state. We get the best warranties. We have the best guys in the business. I pay my guys extremely well. Um, we're one of the top companies to work for. So if you're also looking uh, for a job, Astro Roofing is always looking for talent. Come check us out. Give us a call, 561-409-3280. Visit us on the web at astroroofing.com, Astro with two A's. And, uh, again, we get free estimates, free inspections every day. Look forward to hearing from you. God bless.